Hello everyone, today I'm going to share the evolution of the Revo from beta round 1 to 3 and see how that product changed. To my knowledge, not many people participated in the first two beta rounds and doubt anyone who makes videos has these, so I think this will be a fairly unique look at these uh, versions of the Revo, the work in progress ones. I'm sure E3 has many many more internal iterations of the Revo, but to my knowledge only three rounds of beta happened and yeah, I, I participated in all three betas and I'm going to start with the round one. So this is the round one unit, uh, not exactly. The round one just consisted of this piece, so the heat sink, the heat break, the nozzle, you supplied your own, it was the heater, the thermistor and you know the block as the beta unit. And uh, yeah, I actually really like this product as an evolution of the Voron, uh, Voron uh, V7, uh, V6 hot end. Um, you know, it heats up very quickly. It, I think this was also the PTC heater, so again, it comes with the safety features of that as well. And you can slot this in your existing V6 setup and just use your nozzle and your heat brake. And uh, yeah, it was just a very easy swap. And I think this was a great product idea. And I do hope that they release something like this at some point in the future, because it's a very easy replacement and comes with most of the benefits of Revo, except the easy nozzle swaps. But that is also a negative if you uh, consider the patent thing. So yeah, this was a really nice product. I was pretty happy with this. You tested this on my Voron 0.0. After that came the round two of the beta and this one I did not like and I'm glad they changed it a lot for the Revo because the Revo I do like. So I only didn't like the round two. So this was the round two except uh, you don't see the cables and actually you don't see the ceramic heater anymore so i damaged this one over time this was also used on my boron zero but uh, this was shipped like this plus the fan as well which hasn't changed plus the uh, buck converter which changed but not that much i think it's just the safety thing they changed so uh, yeah this was beta 2 this well, the reason i didn't like this is because as you can see the nozzle the block also the heater and thermistor and the heat break they were all a single unit so uh, other than the heat sink everything else was a single unit you had to replace if you wanted a different size nozzle you had to replace the whole thing if you i don't know clogged your nozzle again you had to replace the whole thing if the thermistor or heater or something died you had to replace the whole thing like it was if the product was released like this it was really anti-consumer and it was also a pain to use because well uh, one of the things with the all three beta rounds is you can see the strain relief here. This is also on the release product as well. Now imagine you mount this on a small, like the Voron Zero tool head, with the layer fans on the side. There is a ginormous uh, strain relief sticking out. Like it is really difficult to unscrew in that case, and that's how I damaged mine. And um, yeah, I don't, I didn't like this, and I'm glad they changed this for the better with the third round of the beta and then the final release product as well. One thing that they ended up removing from the final product, which is not so nice, is these notches on the side of the uh, nozzle. I guess it's not a nozzle, as I said, but you know, if this was a nozzle, uh, that means you can't use these with the uh, with a wrench on the re uh, release Revo. So that is one negative, but it's a minor complaint. This is the release Revo. Uh, this is very close to the release Revo, the beta 3 round. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much what you know. It's the exact same heatsink. I think the anodization looks a little bit different, but otherwise I think it's exactly the same, except the uh, notch for the uh, spring here. So uh, yeah, that spring makes this so much better. You don't have to turn the heater assembly at all, the block, just uh, turn the nozzle. And uh, yeah, it stays in place. You don't have to deal with that strain relief getting in the way and you can just use the new nozzle and you know assemble it together. Only negative of this design, uh, in my opinion, is the nozzle is patented. So you can't buy a third party nozzle for cheaper or you can't buy a third party nozzle that is potentially even better, which is why it would be nice to see this version released to the market. So you can use it with the existing V6 ecosystem, just a different style, a different heater jacket style, which also does exist. Like the MaxiWatt is also a jacket style, but 
this is nicer like the ptc thing is uh, a nice addition and it's also smaller than the maxi watt and no it's a nice addition as i said i did like this when i got this uh wasn't anything groundbreaking but yeah it was nice the fans not no fan were included with the round one round two and round three fans are exactly the same it's the same sunon fan you can see the details here if you're interested the buck converters did change a bit so these are the two buck converters you can see that the old version had a botched uh, diode in there the new one doesn't because the new one I think that black component is a diode, so has that built in. And there are minor PCB changes. Uh, that's probably mostly to do with safety. Uh, whatever it is, they fixed it, so uh, that's not something. Uh, it's not something to complain about. Just shows that they uh, worked on it, which means uh, you know they improved it. So yeah, these are the iterations of the Revo. The ones that were released to the beta testers and uh, yeah as i said before you can watch my previous video about revo if you're interested in my opinions about revo but as i said i do like that design i decided to share this so that uh, you know i think this is an interesting topic to cover see how products evolve over over the different iterations of the same idea obviously started with the idea of the jacket heater ptc style i think jacket heater and evolved to uh, what we have today so yeah that's it for this video. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching.